Installing Von Duprin's concealed vertical cable system with a 9899 series or 3335A series exit device is much different than working with traditional concealed rods. The process is faster and simpler, and once installation is complete, the cable system attaches to the exit device at a single point. In addition, the process of installing the exit device to the door and hanging the door to the frame does not change. Here is a checklist of what you will need to get started. A power drill, a small screwdriver, a level, cable removal tool included with product, socket wrench if you're using 696, 697 trim, a pencil. We'll begin with a door that has been pre-prepped from Steelcraft. You can also prep the door yourself using the installation instructions and templates provided with the product or online. In this example, we are working with a door that has already been prepped. Start by laying the door on saw horses. Then lay the cables, latches, and center slide out flat on the door surface. Find the red marked cable and attach it to the center slide. Pull the cable into the clip to snap it into place. Then push the cable through the end of the center slide to secure it. Attach the remaining ends to the latches, being sure to follow the color-coded markings. Next, attach both of the mounting brackets to the top latch. It is recommended that you always use both mounting brackets. In the same manner, attach the bottom brackets. Starting at the top of the door, slide the assembly, bottom latch first, through the door. You may need to guide the bottom latch through the door using the center case trim prep. Once you have inserted the cable system into the door, you will need to secure the center slide to the door by lightly tightening the lower screw. Align the upper hole visually, then insert a small screwdriver into the upper hole to prevent the center slide from rotating. Leave the screwdriver in place while you fully tighten the lower screw. Next, install the bottom latch mounting bracket assembly to the bottom of the door. The easiest way to determine if your bottom latch and bracket are aligned is through the spring adjust hole on the side of the door. If aligned correctly, the serrated holes in the mounting bracket will align with the spring hole in the latch assembly. When the bottom edge of the latch bolt housing is flush with the bottom of the door, you are ready to insert the latch adjustment spring pin. To insert the pin, fold both tabs of the plug and insert the pin into the bracket. Be sure that the plug is securely attached to the side of the door. Once the latch is connected to the bracket with the spring pin, secure the latch assembly to the bottom of the door using the four mounting screws. Finally, secure the top latch to the top of the door using the four mounting screws. The process for installing the exit device has not changed. Once the exit is installed on the door, you can attach the cable system to the center slide. To attach the cable system to the center slide, install the lift finger by sliding the L-shaped lift finger through the block in the device's center case, and then into the center slide. Be sure the lift finger is positioned inside the center bracket to ensure it activates the cable. Next, insert the adjustment screw and rotate with a screwdriver to raise the lift finger until it is snug against the block. Install the retainer clip against the lift finger, snapping it into the slot of the adjustment screw. Finally, secure the lift finger and retainer clip with a screw. You can adjust the lift finger by loosening the retainer clip screw. To do this, loosen the adjustment screw until the lift finger drops and you feel contact with the center slide. Then tighten the retainer clip. At this point, you can conduct a functional test of the door by depressing the push bar. The latches should retract when the push bar is depressed about halfway. Additional adjustments to the sensitivity of the push pad can be made by preference, but are not required. Once the cable system and exit device are installed, it's time to hang the door. It's important to note that when hanging the door, the latches must be in the retracted position. This ensures the bottom latch will not be exposed and damaged during installation. 
Refer to the instructions to prep and install the surface mounted top strike. Make sure the strike is adjusted accurately before you install the third mounting screw. Next, prep the floor for the bottom strike. The installation instructions provide additional prep dimensions and fastener descriptions. Once the bottom strike is installed, it's time to make your final adjustment to the bottom latch height. To do this, remove the latch adjustment pin to adjust the bottom latch height, and then reinsert the pin. Press the plug into place to conceal the access hole. The bottom latch should be secure when the door is closed. Before sliding the cable assembly into the door, be sure to check that the top and bottom latches are both oriented correctly. An easy way to identify the correct orientation of the latches is to reference the two aluminum door mounting holes in both the top and bottom latch. These holes should be facing the push side of the door when installed correctly. The aluminum mounting holes allow you to secure the top and bottom latch without the use of the mounting tabs in an aluminum door. However, doing this will eliminate your ability to adjust the bottom latch height with the spring pin. If you prefer to use the mounting tabs, be certain to indicate when ordering the door. When you are retrofitting a concealed vertical cable system in an existing Von Duprin 9899 or 3335A concealed vertical rod opening, the recommended approach is to replace the door and order a new door with the CVC cable assembly pre-installed. The CVC system can be ordered as a complete assembly from Von Duprin, or it can be ordered pre-installed in the door directly from Steelcraft. Either of these options allow you to save your existing exit device and trim. Replacing the door is also the best way to ensure the opening operates safely and securely and maintains its fire listing where applicable. To complete the retrofit installation, you will need to order a Dash 338 filler plate to fill the top strike. The CVC surface mounted top strike can be mounted to the top frame once the filler plate is installed. You may also want to replace the bottom strike with the strike plate provided in your CVC assembly. Retrofitting a Von Duprin concealed rod system can be done without replacing the door, but requires an experienced installer and careful attention to template and prep details. It is also important that the door and frame are in good operating condition. In order to replace a rod system without replacing the door, the current device must be a 989947. The door must also have the original and accurate Dash 47 prep. Door preps that have been altered may be missing critical material that is required for mounting the new CVC system. If the door is in good condition and meets the door prep requirements, you will need to prep the top of the door, the spring pin access hole on the side of the door, and two additional holes for the center case. If the door is fire rated, you must receive approval from the frame manufacturer. Local codes may require additional inspection and labeling. It is important to remember that attempting to retrofit the CVC system without replacing the door may be challenging and should only be attempted by experienced professionals. In abusive environments or in exterior applications, you may want to perform routine maintenance to the concealed components and latches. This might include periodic cleaning or latch lubrication. The new CVC system is designed so that it can be removed from the door while the door is still hanging. In order to do this, you will need enough clearance above the door to remove the system. To remove the cable system, first remove the exit device and trim. Then remove the top latch screws, center slide attachment screws, and the bottom latch spring pin. The bottom latch mounting bracket will remain in the door. The entire system can now be removed and serviced. In order to reinstall the cable system, you will need to properly align the bottom latch into the bottom mounting bracket. The best and easiest way to guide the latch through the door and into the bottom bracket is by using fish tape. Starting at the bottom of the door, Guide the fish tape through the door and out from the top. Slide the fish tape through the back of the latch assembly. Use the fish tape to guide the bottom latch through the door. This will ensure the latch is properly oriented into the bottom bracket. Secure the bottom latch into the bottom bracket using the spring pin and install the rest of your mounting hardware. Once the exit device and trim are both installed back on the door, make sure the system is functioning properly. The design of the new CBC system allows for periodic maintenance without removing the door.